Hello YouTube, we all know in data science building dashboard is one of the most important skill. Building dashboard on Power BI Tableau Click View is used more frequently as these tools allow to analyze the data more quickly and visualizations are generated which give organizations a holistic view about all the key insights, information and their data in one roof. Well, out of these tools discussed, Tableau is one amongst the top business intelligence and data visualization tool available today. Most of the Fortune Global 500 companies are using this tool. So today, we'll be doing a hands-on tutorial on how you can create a simple and beginner-friendly Tableau dashboard from scratch. Without wasting any much time, let's get started and enjoy this video. So I'll just share what will be the flow of this video. Firstly, I'll introduce you all to the data. We'll discuss the data. I'll be providing link to the data so that you can download and work on the same time. Later, we'll create the sheets. We'll bring out the insights about the data. And finally, we'll merge all those sheets into one dashboard. We'll work on filters. We'll work on KPIs, which are key performance indicators. We'll do mistakes. We'll find a solution for those. And finally, we'll work on appearance and presentation of our Tableau dashboard. So this video will be a long journey, but as a beginner, you'll learn a lot of things in a way. So let's get to it. Now coming towards the data set, we'll be taking top 250s in IMDB. So this data set is basically top rated movies, series and video games on IMDB. So for this tutorial, we'll be only concerned with IMDB movies data set. So this data set is readily available on Kaggle. I'll be sharing the link in description. And this data set is contributed by Ram Jasmoria. Thank you so much for sharing. So let's see what the data set talks about. So this data set contains rank of movie. What is the rank? Movie name. What is the year released? Certification. So there are n number of certifications for each movie's release. So basically this PG means parental guidance for 13. Then R means basically it, the movie is for 18 plus people. What is the runtime? The duration of movies 148 minutes, 139 minutes, 178 minutes. Then we have Jenna. What is the type of movie? So if we see Inception, we can see action, adventure, sci-fi. What is the rating of this movie? So this rating is basically from 8.1 to 9.4. Then the details, the detail about the plot, a thief who steals corporate secrets through blah, blah, blah. And the director who was the director of this movie, we have actor number one, actor number two, actor number three, actor number four. We have votes. What were the votes? So this vote ranges from 26,000 to 2.5 millions. And what is the meta score? So this meta score is basically, I think it's a weighted score of n number of factors given for each of the movie. And finally, the gross collection. What is the amount collected for each of the movie? What was what is the gross earning from each movie? So you can see for Inception is 292.58 million dollars. So this is all about the data set. And for this tutorial, we'll be concerned for IMDb, IMDb movies. We can also see IMDb series data set, which you can experiment on your own. So basically, this is the data set we'll be using to create a beautiful dashboard on Tableau. We'll be creating some amazing plots and then combining all of them in form of beautiful dashboard. So let's jump towards our Tableau application. So if you can observe, I'll be using Tableau public and not Tableau desktop. Why Tableau public? Because first of all, it's freely available. But if you're using Tableau desktop, it is only available for 14 days trial period, which is free. And later, you need to pay for that. Of course, you can use different emails to download the application. But if you don't want that, you can just use this Tableau public. It's basically for very beginners who want and hands on on Tableau. So yeah, Tableau public is free, but there come some limitations. Firstly, you can only extract data using Microsoft Excel, text file or JSON files. Secondly, there is no live connection option available here. So basically in Tableau desktop, you have two options. You can either have a extract of data and secondly, you can have a live connection. 
so when this live connection option comes into picture is let's say you have prepared a dashboard using some weather reports and as you know these weather reports are updated every hour or after every day so as soon as these weather reports are updated your dashboard will be updated simultaneously so this feature is not available here thirdly only 1 million records can be stored as in beginner 1 million records are too much so it's fine while in tablet desktop you can store unlimited rows so as a beginner of course i would recommend to go for tablet public because it's absolutely free and even you can have an hands on so let's import our data using this microsoft excel so i have stored my data on desktop and here's the data IMDB data set. So as you can see, my data preview is available on this. So this is the whole preview available. You can scroll right to see all the columns. And over here you can see there are only 100 rows which are displayed. You can change it to 200 to see a preview of 200 rows. On the left hand side, you can rename the data set name and here you can change the type of the feature for example here year is in string type i can even change it to date and date time so this was all about the data preview available in data source and let's move towards our sheet one to create our first amazing data visualization so if you observe in tableau we create a single visualization or a single charts on a single sheet and then in dashboard we combine all those sheets on a single dashboard so this is actually really amazing because it actually helps to create some systematic dashboards so let's move towards our first visualization now considering this tutorial is for beginners we'll be plotting some really beginner level charts so that every beginner can have a hands on ta on tableau so firstly we'll be plotting movie names based on their ratings so I want to plot my movies based on the ratings they have. So how can I do this? Firstly, I'll be selecting my movie name and I'll be taking this into this column. And I'll secondly, I need ratings. So I'll be taking this rating in this row wall option. Now I want these movies in this Y column. How can I do that? I can select this swap option, swap rows and columns. And as you can see, all my movies are in this Y axis. But now this doesn't look that great. There are hundreds of movies available here. So what I can do, firstly, I need to sort this based on the ratings they have. As you can see here, it's 8.49, 8.1. It doesn't look that great. So firstly, I'll sort it. So in this movie name, there is a drop down. In this, you have a sort option so we can sort by this field and my field will be rating and aggregation will be sum so here they have sorted based on ascending order but i need descending order so as you can see my movies have been sorted based on their rating names in descending order so the top rated movie that is jaibim is on the top and the lowest rating movie which is Wild Tales, which is having 8.1 rating, is in the last. But now, I just want the top 5 or top 10 rows because this plot doesn't look that great. So, I need to filter top 10 or top 5 rows or top 5 movies. How can I do this? You need to select this drop down again and you can find a filter option over here. So in this filter, there are many filter options. You can use a wildcard, condition, or top. You can see top option here, and I want to filter based on my field. My field, again, will be rating, because even we have sorted based on the rating and by sum. So I need top 10 or top 5. So let's say top 10. It depends. It completely depends on you. And we'll be clicking on apply. So as you can see, I have my top 10 rows and also they are sorted based on the ratings but now this chart doesn't look that great i want this chart to utilize this whole sheet how can i do this so you can click on this standard option and click on this entire view so as you can see my chart has utilized all the space on this sheet now secondly 
you can observe the main difference in rating is from 8 to 9.5 so how to just highlight this for that you need to click on the you need to right click on this axis x axis and you can find an option edit axis here you just need to unselect this include zero option so as you can see my chart has been displayed in much more better way and also i don't want this movie name label so just right click on this as well and hide p label for rows now we'll just rename this sheet name and place it on place it on the center we'll just rename it as top 10 movies rating way rating wise and just click on apply you can see the title appearing over here so once you are done with this you can even change the color of this chart by clicking on this color option and there are n number of color options available in this palette but for this tutorial we'll just keep it as default now secondly if you observe that when you hover over these charts you can see movie name the godfather is right but below the rating there are n number of spaces between the label and the text so how can we change it so for that you need to click on this tooltip option so in this tooltip you can just edit the spaces as you can see there are n number of spaces between the rating label and the sum of ratings so you can just backspace it and click on ok so now when you hover over here you can see my movie name and rating labels are proper actually it is more presentable than before now in order to make this chart more presentable what we can do is we can reduce the frequency of these x labels that is let's say over here it's 8.8 8.9 now i just want 8.8 .8 and 9 9.2 and 9.4 so how can i do that so just right click on this axis click on edit axis now in this tick marks you can change the tick interval so i'll make it as 0.2 and here you can see the frequency of x labels are reduced 8.8 9 9.2 and 9.4 so that's all for this sheet and last thing we can do is we can rename the sheet name as top 10 movies rating wise so that's all for sheet one now moving towards the sheet number two i want the same visualization but instead of ratings i want to plot them based on the words they have so in simple words i want to sort and i want to find top 10 movies based on the number of words so how can i do this the first method can be simply following all the steps which we had done for creating this visualization and the second method a much simpler one can be you can just copy paste this visualization into the second sheet how can i do this so right click here and click on duplicate so it will just copy paste it into the another sheet now firstly we'll change the name top 10 movies votes wise and simply instead of rating we can just drag this votes option and put here so these are the results but as you can see the movie name with the lowest votes are placed on the top and the movie name with the highest votes is placed second why this is happening so remember while sorting previously we had mentioned field name as rating but now here as we are considering votes we'll be changing this field name to votes well the aggregation will be the same and also while filtering the top 10 movies we had mentioned field name as rating we need to also change this to votes click on apply and as you can see the movie the top 10 movie names are changed now as i'm hovering over my charts i can still see my movie name and rating over here i need to change this rating to votes so click on this tooltip change this rating to votes click on ok now as i'm hovering i can see movie name and votes and even here i want to exclude this 0k just click or right click edit axis and exclude zero and in the tick marks i want this interval as two lakhs in this case so just make it two lakhs and as you can see my chart has been much more chart is much more presentable than before in this case i'll also change the color to light orange 
and that's all for this sheet number two now coming towards this third visualization this one is really amazing one so here i want to see what is the average run time and what is the average meta score over the years so if i am taking this year so i want to see average meta score and average run time from 1921 to 2021 okay so firstly i need to change this type of year as from string to date and I will drag this year in this column section. Now, secondly, since I want average runtime, I will drag this runtime while I measure and I'll just put this in this row section. And also, I want to find what is the average meta score. So, I will even drag this meta score into this rows while section. Now, here, as you can see in meta score, there are six null values. Now, since I want to exclude these null values, you can just click over here and you can filter the data. So it will automatically remove all those null values present. Now, by default, when we drag this runtime and meta score in this rows section, we can find it is by default, it's calculating the sum of runtime and meta score. So how can we change this sum to average? So click on this drop down and click on the measure to average. And same for the meta score, we'll change this measure to average. Now, as we did previously, I want to change this axis. I don't want to include zero in both average meta score and average runtime. So, as you know, what we'll do, we'll right click, we'll click on edit axis, and then here in the range, I'll click on fixed. Now, my fixed chart will be from 50, and my upper limit, I'll be keeping it automatic. So it will automatically change when the upper limits differ. Now I'll execute the same for average meta score as well. Edit axis, click on fix. My lower limits will start from 50 and my upper limits will be automatically computed. Cancel this. Now to differentiate between these two graphs, I'll change the color. So over here, I will click on average runtime and I'll change this color to light orange. Now here for this X axis labels, you can also rotate these labels. You can just click on rotate label and it will be rotated. But I don't want this. I just want to keep it in vertically oriented. But I don't want this label name to be displayed. So I'll just right click and hide field label for columns. So we got rid of it. Now secondly, there are a lot of grid lines over here, which is actually disturbing my view. But it depends upon you to whether to keep these grid lines or not to remove this just right click on this graph click on format and in format click on this grid lines option this lines option and from rows you can remove this grid lines you can click on none so as you can see the grid lines have disappeared in both of my graphs another thing i need to change the name of the sheet as average meta score and run time over years same will be same my title has changed and i'll just align it towards center and click on apply now another thing when i'm hovering over these graphs as you can see the tooltip is not right you can see year of year and there are a lot of spaces 1964 and i need to change this so again click on click all click on tooltip and here you can just mention year and remove all the spaces in between then average meta score is correct but there is there are spaces and average run same for average runtime and click on ok now as you will hover you can see all the data presented correctly now talking about some simple analysis which we can observe is if you consider average runtime average runtime of the movies was increasing over the years and you can see a peak in 2012 where average runtime is 191.3, which is maximum. And considering the meta score, you can find a dip in 1983 where average meta score was just 61.50. You can just scroll left and right to see the performance of the average meta score and runtime over the years. So this was all regarding sheet number three. Now coming towards the sheet number four, I want to plot the Jenner based on the number of votes it have 
and also i want to associate what was the certification type associated with that particular jena so certification certification type like uh, above 18 or parental guidance and n number of certifications which certification was associated with that particular jena based on the number of votes so how can we do this so i'll drag the jena one from the dimensions and put it in the row in columns and from the measures i'll be taking votes and put it in the rows now here i want to flip this graph so i'll click on this swap rows and columns and like previously i will sort out the jenna based on the measure i'll click on field and my field name will be votes and the aggregation will be sum and i'll sort the order as descending okay now over here i'll just click on standard and click on this enter view so that my chart will occupy the whole view now as we talked about previously i want to also associate it this certificate with each of the genre it have so how can i do this for this i will drag the certificate from these dimensions and i'll take it into this color option so when i'll put this in color option i will be getting what was the certificate associated with each of the genre I have? So if you consider action, more than 50% of the action votes were taken by certification as PG-13. That is parental guidance for children about 13 plus. And then coming towards certification R, which is 18 plus and so on. So this is which we have achieved. And now I will also filter out the top 10 Jenners. So I'll click on filter. I'll click on top by field 10 votes and click on apply. So finally, I have top 10 Jenners also with the certification associated with them. Now, here I also don't want this label Jenner. So I'll just right click and click on hide field label for rows and I'll just rename this sheet. Sheet as top 10 Jenner votes wise and the same will be reflected over here on the title and I'll just align the title towards center and click on apply now before concluding this sheet number four I think I should change the colors for these maximum certifications like R or PG 13 as blue or orange because i have used the same color code for previous charts so i'll click on this drop down on certification color legends i'll click on edit colors and i'll change the colors as per my convenience so for pg13 i'll put blue for for r i'll put orange and for pg i will put light orange and i'll click on apply so as you can see my colors are changed now another thing i think i should also change the grid lines behind so click on format and on this lines i will put my grid lines to none and my grid lines has been disappeared now i'll continue the same process for all these charts i'll click on none for each of the grid lines even for this one so this was all for sheet number four now coming towards the final sheet number five here i want to display the top director based on the meta score and the ratings so for that i'll be preparing a beautiful bubble chart a different chart than others so for that i need to drag this director from these dimensions in my columns and now i want to consider meta score so i'll take this meta score measure Put it into rows and also i'll take this rating i'll drag this and put it into the same rows and now now since i want to change the graph i'll click on show me option over here now this will present me number of charts available which i can use and at the bottom right you can see a pack bubble chart so i'll click on this and i'll find my data converted into this bubble chart now there are n number of data points available here but i want to just present 12 or 15 directors so 
the same method which we used previously click on this drop down filter i'll be filtering top 10 directors based on the rating you can also change it to meta score as well but for now i'll be keeping it to rating and click on apply and i'll just put this standard to entire view so if you can observe this bubble chart, you can observe the size of the bubbles is dependent on the rating. So the smaller, comparatively smaller bubbles represent lower rating and uh, bigger bubbles represent the higher ratings. While considering meta score, the meta score is dependent on the color shade. So the lower meta score like 195, which is the lowest meta score is represented by the lighter shade of blues and the maximum meta score is represented by a darker shade of blues now it's time to change the sheet name we'll name it as top director top 10 director based on rating for now let's keep it on rating let's say and rating and meta score now same will be replicated over here we'll place our title on the middle so this was all regarding this sheet number five and there comes an amazing part now we will create a new dashboard in which we'll be combining all these five sheets into this single dashboard now how to create this dashboard so now at the bottom you will find this new dashboard option so click here now firstly this will prompt this page now the layout is not proper as per our requirement so for the size you need to go in size you need to click this and for in this range you need to click on automatic one so this is the dashboard layout and you can see five of our sheets are available here now there are two options on which we can bring those sheets on this dashboard layout so first is tile and second is float option floating option so what happens in floating option is when you drag this top 10 movie rating sheet over here you in floating you can manually change the height and width of this sheet and everything is manual here you can bring on this sheet as well and you can change the height and width manually but the problem over here is when you bring all these sheets into one picture and there are also multiple components which come into this one picture there is always a problem of alignment so to avoid this I would really recommend to go for this tiled option so what happens in tiled option is so let's say i import this top 10 movie rating option sheet on this dashboard it automatically covers the whole layout of this dashboard and now when i'm importing a different dash a different sheet onto this dashboard it gives me an option whether i want to divide this sheet in horizontally or vertically so if i select horizontal uh, some vertical option it will automatically divide the dashboard layout into two parts which is a sheet one and sheet two so finally it's time to bring all these all these sheets onto the single dashboard i'll be using tiled option as usual so starting with this top 10 movies rating wise and it has covered the whole layout secondly i'll bring this top 10 movies vote wise i'll place this horizontally below this top 10 movie rating wise so as you can see the space has been divided equally now this third sheet which have some line charts now it's better to place these line charts below and for better presentation i'll be giving it more space so that it can occupy the space for better presentation since we have years from 1927 to 2022 now for the fourth sheet top 10 Jenna wise I'll place them besides top 10 movie rating wise so here they have also presented me legends but I'll manage these legends later so for currently I'll just cancel them and for the fifth sheet top 10 director I'll place it below this top 10 Jenna vote wise so, uh, okay I'll just remove this container as well now basically I'll divide this whole space for these two sheets so I can drag this sheet over here and I'll drag this top 10 director sheet at the middle now 
as you can see the space as there is a problem with the space it is actually overlapping this line so i will take this blank object and place below this so that the spacing will match this particular line and it would present as better visualization so what i felt after looking at this dashboard is it would be better if we keep top 5 movie rating wise instead of top 10 it would be much more better for presentation so i'll just select on each of the sheet and i'll select edit filter and click on top 5 and click on apply so for every sheet it would be top 5 rows top 5 movies displayed similar for this one edit filter top 5 now here i've missed one point now if you consider this x label you will find this 2000k 2200k but instead of this we can just convert this thousands into millions it would be much more presentable so for that just right click and click on format now here you will be suggesting the number format now over here you can click on number standard or custom click on this custom and click on the display units as millions and decimal places will give decimal places as 2 you can do it 3 4 any and for the better presentation purpose i'll keep it as 2 that's all for this one over here as well will be keeping top 5 jenner votes uh, sort the, this is a sort one okay i need to edit the filter top 5 and apply now if you are looking at our dashboard it is much more presentable i think so this is how our dashboard is looking and also i think as we have mentioned this in our title that top 10 movies rating wise or top 10 jenner vote wise i think we can also remove this labels we can just click and we can just remove this rating so that the whole space will be occupied and it is assumed that these 9 9.2 and 9.4 is rating we'll do the same for votes as well just remove this votes same for the movies okay looks better now no dashboard is complete without filters kpis presentation and many more things so it's time to add filters to our dashboard so how can we add filter so select any one sheet now the filter which will be adding this will be common filter for all of these sheets excluding this line chart so how can we add this filter i'll be clicking on any one sheet i am interested in so top 10 movies rating wise now i'll click on so let's say i want to filter the certificate and i'll click use all and apply now over here in the drop down i'll click on show filter and it will give me a drop down now when i'll click this approved one it is just showing me one why it's happening like this when i'm clicking on past there is no data available when i'm clicking on pg13 there is only one data point available why it's happening now let me tell you why this issue issue arises so this issue arises because we have used filtering in this dimension itself so when we click this edit filter we know we have used this filter of top 5 by rating and aggregation is sum so what basically happens is the rest data of 100 200 movie records are literally excluded and we just have this five records with us so how to tackle this so first of all we need to remove this filter by clicking this none and apply and as you can see there are more movies which are appeared here second step will be we need to click on analysis and we need to click on calculated fields in calculated field we will create a separate field a new field which is index and as you can see the calculation is valid and click on okay now we have created a manual index field 
we know right index for every data there is index one two three four five this is the index which we have created manually now what we'll do is we'll put this index into filters and here we'll be mentioning one two five and we'll click on apply now let's test it by adding a filter we'll be using the same filter certificate here and we'll click on use all and apply we'll just click on show filter over here and click on the drop down and now when i'm selecting this approve now here i'm getting top five movies based on the rating isn't it amazing so let's quickly revise why this happened it happened because when we are using filter in this dimension we just had five records in memory but now when we use this index follow option index filter it basically had all this 250 records of movies in its memory so when i'm using any filter it will just show up this top 10 or top 5 movies based on the ratings as required so in the meantime, I've used this filtering technique for both of these sheets, which is top 10 movie rating wise and top 10 movies vote wise. So how can I bring this filter on this dashboard? So for that, you need to click on this drop down option and click on filters. Now it will appear the filters which we have used for this particular sheet. So as you know, we had used certificate well filter over here. So I'll click on this certificate. So this will appear over here and i'll click an option so after clicking this filter i'll click an option to view it in drop down format now i'll change the placement of this filter above all of them i'll keep this filter here my second filter will be over here and third filter will be about top director rating and meta score wise now let's try out our filter so i'll select this approved option from this certificate now you can observe that when i'm changing this filter pg13 it's just changing data on this top 10 movie rating wise sheet but why not others so for that you need to click this on this drop down over here you can click on apply to sheets and you can click on select worksheets so when you cl click on this select worksheets you can select on which sheets you need to apply this particular filter so let's say i'll select top 10 movies votes wise and i'll select average meta score and runtime over years sheet so i'll click on ok so now when i'm clicking on this approve my data is changing for all of these sheets together now what is another filter which we can use so let's try jenna I'll bring this Jenna in filter option and I'll use this use all and apply. Now similarly, I'll go on my dashboard. I'll select my filter. I'll select this Jenna. I'll select the drop down and make it as a drop down one. And then I'll put this filter about top Jenner vote wise and take about its formatting. And over here, I'll click on apply to this worksheets. I'll select one, two, and three sheets. Click on OK. Now, when I'm changing this Jenner as action, all of my three sheets are changing. We'll just rename our filters as select certificate type. And in this Jenner, we'll be renaming it as select Jenner. So it would be better for user to select any of those. Now, firstly, we'll hide all these sheets because it is occupying more space. We can just click right click over here and we can use hide. We'll hide all of these sheets. Now filters are fine. Now we'll move towards creating some KPIs. What is KPIs? KPI represents per key performance indicators. So what KPIs will include? We'll include gross collection. What is the amount which is collected? We'll use some. Okay, we'll use some. We'll change the standard to entire width and click on format. And we'll just align that towards center. Sheet. Just align towards center. And we'll just re rename the sheet as gross earnings. 
and apply and secondly what kpi will use let's say we can use this meta score what is the meta score same process we'll change the alignment we'll go towards the sheet and place it in the center and rename it as meta score total meta score and apply so we'll use these kpis in our dashboard so you can see these two sheets also included over here now we'll pull this sheet number six and place it over here so this is our gross earnings so our gross earnings and also the sheet now seven which is our meta score now moving forward what i did i introduced another kpi which is total votes which i created using the same process which we use for creating gross earnings and total meta score and i just changed the placement of select secure uh, select certificate type from left to right and i bought all these three kpis towards left hand side for better for better appearance that's it now until now what we saw was complete technical uh, I will also hide these KPIs, KPI sheets. I just hide all these three. Now, what we did till now was complete technical. Now, let's move towards the appearance of our whole dashboard. So, firstly, I'll introduce the dashboard title over here. So, when you click on this dashboard, you can enable this show title option. And we can, let's say, we can name this as IMDB dashboard tutorial and click on apply and we'll align it as center so later what i'll do is i will click on format title and i change the shading to black and i'll convert my text color to white and bold and click on apply now for every sheet title i'll change my color and it would look like this so what I've done is I've just changed the title color by clicking here format title and shading as black and changed the format the font color to yellow and made it bold so you would be thinking why I've used this black and yellow combination so do you remember who is our client so our client is IMDB and what the combination they use is black and yellow so depending on a client depending on a company we are serving this dashboard will use that particular color combination to make it more and more attractive and much more presentable to the client or company we are delivering to now secondly what we'll do is we'll be adding the borders for each of the kpis what we'll do is simply click here we'll click format and over here we can see the borders option over here and we can click on cell borders and click on the thickness we'll select black color so as you can see our borders are ready and let's see in the presentation mode see our borders are there and now let's change the title color for each of these kpis and the filters for that we need to click on format title shading to let's say a bit gray shade for the titles let's keep it a bit lighter and for the filters you need to click on format filter and set controls and in the body section you can click on the color oh we need to click on shading so our dashboard is almost ready but it's time to give some final touch so since our client is imdb i've downloaded an image a png image of imdb so i'll be importing this image by clicking image object so i'll be choosing my image which i have saved on desktop you can see here and we'll click on open okay so as you can see my image has been imported but now it is in tiles format i need to convert into floating one now i can take this image and i can reduce the size the reduce the dimensions and place it over here 
Now let's see how it appears. I'll just reduce size a little bit more. Okay, now it's almost fitted over here. I need to size, reduce the size a little bit more. I think it would fit properly. So this is how our dashboard is looking. Let's try out our dashboard. So when I'm clicking on this Jenna, I'm clicking on action. All these three fields are changing with also changes in KPIs. When I'm changing to adventure, you can see total meta score is 1626. Now let's change the certification type. Let's click all over here and let's click on certification type. All my three sheets are changing. Also the, there's change in all three KPIs. So this was all regarding our dashboard. Please do comment down how was this video and was it helpful and other reviews about this video. The basic motive behind this dashboard was to let beginners have a hands-on session for creating a beginner level dashboard on Tableau. If you like this video, please do hit that like and subscribe button. This motivates me to bring such amazing videos for you all every week. Signing off for today. Stay safe, take care and thank you so much for watching.